hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Here we are at Mickey's Athletic, just about to do a bit of filming and uh, just chat a bit of boxing. So I hope it's a good, uh, hope it's a good video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment. All right, thank you very much. Mickey's Athletic, here we go. Let's get it on front. Might do a few more of these. Uh, see how they work out. All right, here's details, Mickey's Athletic. There's the email, as you can see. So, 27 years experience. Mickey's got, and his son Josh is training there. And he also trains fighters, and uh, Dempsey's a professional. His brother, he trains here, and he's training amateurs as well, so. All right, so I hope you enjoy the uh, video. If I get this shot in now, uh, Josh Wales gonna win an IBF world title with Dennis Hobson. And it's going to be my first sign that's won a belt. First thing I've put me back into, even when Joshua wears Steffi Ball, I always knew that I'd be able to get him as soon as I saw a chinking arm away with Steffi not doing his job correctly. No disrespect to Steffi, but you lost him, didn't you? If I get this shot in here, Josh Wales is going to win a world title. There you go. There you go. Josh Wales going to win an IBF world title. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Hashtag levels. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing with me. I've got former British champion and IBO current international featherweight champion. Josh Whale from Barnsley. Josh, how are you doing? Good, thanks, sir. Paul. I'm all right, mate. Uh, I'll just jump straight in. Josh, do you think your training is smarter now you're older? Um, yeah, because you, you've got to adapt. Obviously, you, uh, you've got to you've got to move move with times. You're 31, 31, 32, so there's things mm. I couldn't do when I was 21, but I can do now, and mm. vice versa. So yeah, you, you do adapt. Yeah, you can see you see. I've just seen little, little little things that I've seen in your in your training. Do you feel like you're getting fitter as you're getting older because you're training smart? I'm, de I'm definitely getting stronger. Uh, yeah. I've always been fit. Uh, you know, there's certain stuff we would do more of now than and we do less of it, certain other things. But um, yeah, you just you just adapt. I suppose it's like any any sportsman, uh, tennis players or. Football. You've got to adapt yeah. as you get older. Yeah. Uh, you add certain things to your game, um, and you and you lose certain things, obviously. So you've got yeah. to, you know, you've got to rest stay on top of it. I have to react. I know it's a cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I treat um, every camp the same. With, there's, there's no, there's no different. Train, train for this one like I've trained for everyone. You know, I, uh, I always do everything. Um, you know, your road work, your sparring, your bag work, your sick, everything gets ticked off, Paul. There's not, there's not one thing, you know, we haven't done. We always train hard and uh, I'm ready. Yeah, and you're, you know, obviously, you've had some sparring this week. You've been uh, in West Yorkshire yeah. sparring, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. With that, how that's gone? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, these kids are South Paul, so obviously, we've been sparring South Paul. Uh, yeah. Again, my, my last opponent were a South Paul as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you like these South yeah, Paul, don't you, Josh? Uh, but yeah, we 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 do everything we uh, we want to do. So we're happy. Yeah. Uh, so you looking forward to the fight? Mm. Uh, uh, I am. Yeah, is it a thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eddie Kayomba. Yeah. Kayomba. Listen, I I've got to keep winning. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, I've got to perform against every opponent I'm in with. Um, mm. At this stage of my career, there can't be no slip ups. I've got to perform. It's a big night for me. I'm bringing you know yeah. TV cameras back to Barnsley. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, it's a big thing for me. Uh, you know I've carried the flag of Barnsley boxing for a long time now. So yeah. um, you know it's a, it's going to be an active night. It's going to be uh, it's going to be good for everybody to come out and support me because um, you know 
probably last year's time, you might know, you know, I mean, obviously people who know me know that mm. I bounced back, but, um, you know, they might have thought that I mean, last time they saw me at Barnsley, but uh, I've regrouped and I'm in best form in my career again. I mean, uh, mm. people find it strange. I think my lifestyle is a big, uh, big factor in it, why I can uh, keep, keep... Why are you, why are you, why are you uh, lasting this long? Yeah, yeah, why like, yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, I'm, I had 43 fights. Um, I think I've been involved with about 20 title fights, or 10 rounds, 12 rounds. Is your I'd have to look at the record, but you know, title fight after title fight after fight, and people think, oh god. Um, but, I, but I think a lifestyle has a lot to do with. It. I think if you if you're boxing and you're going out, you're getting hammered, and uh, yeah. you know it's, it's hard to get back in. But I'm always in and around training all year round really so you know I just do my own thing I don't go on social media saying I'm best best things in life bread you know come and watch me I just do my own thing Paul you know, I can't really change that I've been a professional for 30 years people say you need to promote yourself more but I just do me you know what I mean I, I just I'm just happy what I've done I still obviously I've got a massive fan base and I appreciate everybody coming out to support me. Some some support me from thirty years ago from my press or yeah. maybe some's come along as it as it's gone. Uh, yeah, so you know, I've got a massive fan base and to come back to Barnsley, uh, I need to put a good performance on and keep winning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on from that then, everything's gone well. What do you think about the featherweight division at the moment? Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a good div good division, obviously. We're yeah. On the world scene. Yeah, on the world scene. British scene, world scene. It's a good division, uh, uh, Nine Stone. Uh, it always has been, to be fair, yeah. featherweight. You know, it's, it's, it's a good weight class. There's some, uh, there's some good world champions and there's some, some good other champions, obviously. I'm IBO international champion, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be in and around that kind of you know I want to be challenging I want to, I don't like taking my eyes off on disrespecting opponents I want I want to win this one first you know yeah. uh, I've got a performance and then then we'll sit down and we'll, we'll see where we we'll go from there Paul. Well, other than that, you're happy with your lot, Josh, aren't you at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. With you. I'm uh, you know, I'm playing in gym. Um, Are you happy with what you're doing today? Because you work with your troubled youth, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's your job in Yeah, yeah, not many people know, but I, I work uh, for Dave Valley Personal Development Centre, which basically works with kids who, who struggle with mainstream school. Yeah. Uh, they're a bit disengaged uh, with, with school life and stuff like that. And yeah. They come in here and uh, they, do, they do boxing training, uh, arts, and go fishing. We do, we do, works in the uh, training? So, so, the project's run by John Joe the former, the former uh, British yeah. and Commonwealth, Commonwealth featherweight champion. Did you go Commonwealth Games as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Got, got Commonwealth gold yeah. medalist. So John Joe was involved with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his, that's his company. Him and his wife Jackie, they, yeah. they run it. Um, obviously, John Joe's part of my team now yeah. uh, as well. Um, I've looked up for John Joe since I've been a kid. You know, he's a great man. He's, uh, yeah. he's, he's well respected in the area. Um, and, and that's what we do, we work with school kids. Yeah. So, uh, John Joe saw work I was doing with kids in boxing club, and him and his wife were like, oh, Gonna get Josh. It'd be ideal to uh, to work with these kids. Uh, and it's a job I I've, uh, I think I think I'm made for it. You know, I think yeah. that, that's obviously I've got experience be working with, with running boxing club, but uh, with them kind of kids, you know, I, I think that that's my kind of my kind of thing. Because they can look at me. I mean, I, I come from Brampton. It's a it's a pretty rough you know yeah, yeah, yeah. rough area. Uh, I've never touched a jug, a, a sip. You haven't drink it, No, you know, I've, I've tried to conduct myself the right way. And, you know, many of my mates or kids from school, they've all gone, you know, a lot of them's gone that wrong path. Friends up on Skid Row, haven't Yeah, they? yeah, and yeah, and I've seen that, I've seen that side of it. Uh, I, I see what drugs can do. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive part of modern day society. It's, uh, do you think that's the main problems of trouble youths nowadays, the drug culture? Yeah, yeah, yeah by a mile. Yeah, massive. I mean, I mean uh, it's um, some scary, scary, really 
stories. I mean, well, you get to hear them. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Not just you're not just in here. Obviously, through through working with with a lot of really hard kids. I mean, a twelve year old when we were at school, um, you, you you never heard of these kinds of drugs and stuff. What these yeah. these kids are, are taking. I mean. I just don't know how it's, how it's so easy for them to to, to get. It's like yeah. uh, there, must, there must be some kind of campground soon because I mean the way society is going. It's uh, I mean they have brought this you spice that you you go spice, on, yeah, yeah you, you, go, drug, you yeah. go you go on uh, mainstream you know they're all spice off Reddit. It's, it's underneath continental quilts aren't they yeah. on the shops around it's, here, it, they also it, it's crackers but i think um it's filtering down young to younger and younger kids yeah. and uh, i think that's that's where dangerous part comes i mean obviously if you're an adult um it's not good to, if they're on yeah. drug but you know if you if you get them at kids you can you can try and tell them there's another way to mm. to go about things um you know and um yeah, that that I think for me that's the biggest part. Of it. And do you think that uh, if the councils did more to, and there were more funding mm. for boxing gyms mm. like yourself yeah. to get these kids away from that, do you think that's the way forward? Or yeah. Do, or do you believe in just giving them, throwing them in jail? What do you think? No, no. I mean, uh, I believe every kid deserves a chance. Uh, yeah. You know, my dad. I'm, I'm, I'm basically uh, carrying on work my dad's done for the last 25 years, you know. Yeah. If my dad had done that, uh, what he's doing 25 years ago, they'd have given him a night. Because my, dad, yeah. my dad took him in any kind of background, you know, and yeah. uh, you were like a father figure to him, you know, and sometimes yeah. that's, that's what they need. Yeah. Um, you know, my dad just, obviously, with my dad's illness and, and stuff like that, is. You know, I, 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 run, I run gym now, but I, everything I do, I try and I try and copy what what he do to to kids. Obviously, I've got my own way about doing things, but uh, yeah, he had a he had a, he had a, like a tough love with kids. You know what I mean? They didn't want to let him down, and that's what you've got. To, that's what you've got to get with him. Um, but it's a uh, councils, uh, police, whatever. I think I think the uh, there's a massive issue, and I think they need to address it. And I don't know how they're going to address it. I, I know, uh, I know there's not many youth clubs and, and stuff like that uh, nowadays. And um, if you give if you give money to boxing clubs, then um, obviously you know not everybody's going to be a boxer. So yeah. you you got to you got to watch it, and, and you've got to uh, to the right people. You know what I mean? It's got to it's got to it's got to be it's got to be the right kind of people to help these kids. Um, and I think when I've done boxing, uh, I do a lot of work now, obviously with, with kids and with boxing clubs and disengaged yeah. kids. But I'll, I'll just go, go up and up because I uh, I'm passionate about it. You know, I really uh, I really enjoy helping kids out. When when you see a success story, yeah, oh, you know, it's brilliant, mate. You it's know, a great feeling. yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, um, that that feeling you get when you when you have a little bit of help towards a kid achieving something, it's brilliant, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, boxing's can save a lot of people. Obviously, it, uh, it gave me a bit of direction in mm. my life, and I uh, really started getting into internet back two thousand and four, yeah, two thousand and five, uh, and I uh, started following it intensely every mm. single day for like about fifteen years now. Yeah, and it gave me direction to uh, I suppose give me something else instead of just doing it all. Yeah, day, do you know what yeah, I mean? definitely, Russ. I mean, obviously, yo. Well documented what you you you've said on your channel, yeah, what, yeah. You, what you've been through. Oh yeah, yeah, and you're a prime example to them kids. You know, you're an example yeah. to you know you've come, you've got your been in prison. I've had a drug habit. Yeah, you've come back. You you've set this channel. Yeah. You try to do things right way. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, we all make mistakes. Yeah, and 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 you're honest about them, Paul. And yeah, not many yeah. people are. You know, people. You know, mm -hmm. they can they can eye behind stuff or whatever. But if you're honest, and that's how that's how it really, you're gonna move forward, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so I've enjoyed coming here today. It's yeah. nice to get some footage at, at gym and that. There's yeah. not that like many people uh, mention this gym like they do other gyms in here. Yeah. Uh, it's because you and your dad are not on social media all the time. No. You're not, you're not we don't, we don't, well, Yeah, we don't ram it down people. We just do his own thing. Like uh, yeah. uh, I suppose that, that's kind of me, like me with boxing. We just do yeah. his own thing. But um, mm -hmm. 
we're, we're, we're packed, we're packed here, we, we, we're good kids, you know, yeah. and they're all, they're all good kids, they're all respectful kids, yeah. uh, you know, all the way, all way through, and uh, yeah. There's some kids are from other areas, aren't there? It's not only like, oh, I know. Vincent, Denny, Mickens, with Malt, yeah, yeah, the Malton, Bolton, Dern, yeah, 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 Bolton, Dern, Wofford, Dern, Wofford, Dern, Darfield, yeah, Darfield, yeah, 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 we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got a real mixture, um, you know, and, and that's that's brilliant. That's obviously it's bigger. I mean, if you you know if you're good and you're doing well for kids, they come from all yeah. different areas. Um, yeah. yeah, that's brilliant. All right, well, listen, it's been nice to speak to you, Josh. Yeah, and uh, I'll probably speak to you again. Uh, I think we've got a meeting next week. Yeah, before uh, before weighing Tuesday. Yeah. So all being well, uh, and think before. I'll see you and good luck with your fighting. Yeah, thank that. you. Good, good luck with your gym and that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's been yeah, brilliant. Thank, yeah, you. thank you, mate. How are we doing, uh, Dempsey? Nice to see you. Good, thank uh, you. Man. How's training going? Good, pal, yeah, good. All right, who've well, got here? You're going to What's your name? Marcy. Go on, Marcy. My oldest nephew. Is that after Marciano? Marciano, Rocky Marciano. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what weight are you going to fight at moment four, Dempsey? How old are you now? 20, 23 a minute. 23? Yeah. Uh, I've been boxing in 10 stone division. Light uh, welter. Light welter, yeah. Um, I had a lot of weight to get off when I first started my, journey, my professional journey. Uh, I'm continuing to train. I never have a week out of gym, even when I'm pulling, pulling at the minute. I've been inspiring. Got to progress. Um, I think first title, I'll be at lightweight. Yeah. Moving down. 9 stone 9. 9 stone 9, yeah. I think Is that a 5 pound problem? No. I feel strong as I am at the minute. I'm 10 stone 4 at the minute. And so inspiring at that, so I feel so strong. £9 pound I need to get on yeah. scales as a, as a light weight. Yeah. Well, so, I so think you're 2-0 now, aren't you? 2-0. Oh, no. When's your next fight? I'm not too sure at the minute. Um, <laughs> How's your health at the moment? Any injuries? All, all good at the minute. Uh, all good? Yeah. <laughs> I had a bit, bit of illnesses, I'm always prone to a bit of cold over, over winter, but I still like to soldier on. Josh is busy with his career at the minute, so I'm just helping out in the gym, helping out with my dad and uh, sparring. Keeping Keeping well. So you're going to still doing your runs? Still doing my runs, still doing my spars, yeah. Are you going with Josh? No, not with Josh. We train, we train on the sense like long walls. We'll he do... follows in car, you're back on Josh's, doesn't he? He What's does on his own runs, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I like to put my earphones in late at night, me and go for a yes. chill run. Other than that, other than that, you're enjoying it, aren't you? Well, I'm loving it, but yeah, loving it. Mm. Loving being in, in gym with my dad and Josh as well. Yeah. I've always been in, in there, but it's, it's been different for me to be involved in it now. Yeah. Part of it. And you've got a, a degree, haven't you? I have, got, yeah. yeah. What have you got a degree in? I've got a sport and exercise science, bachelor of science degree. Um, where did you get that at? I got that at Leeds Metropolitan University. I, I am going to eventually, in a few years, when my career gets on track, and, Work so I'm going to work. I'm going to get a master's in nutrition. I think. Is that what you want? To yeah. So you've got an advantage then. You know what you're putting in your body and that, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, like I say, I had a lot of weight to lose, and knowing what I'm doing, it helped. So obviously, yeah. I, did, I did everything that I liked. So when I was dieting, it weren't even like what I dieted. It just I went well. And now, and now, what was your weight? A minute, ten, no, st ten stone four. What was your weight when you decided to take? Fourteen and a half stone. Fourteen seven. Fourteen seven. Well, I think we're about fourteen nine. 49. Yeah, so I can remember when I came back before. God, lowest is going to get some middleweight. It's going to be a middleweight. So I want to big that. You know what? Fat. Yeah. But I, I just really feel that. I was doing my weights. I had massive legs. It was just as much as I could, I could lift, really. Yeah. So you're going to go from 205 pounds to 135. Yeah. And how long will that have been? Two years? Under that, really, because Under. A, a, a year of that, uh, my missus was still at home, so I, I were yeah. up and out. I, I weren't really. In gym like I am now. I was dedicated. Yeah. Like, I, was, I, was still, 
of preparing for this journey. Yeah. So basically, you, your goal was to lose 70 pounds and still stay strong, and you're more or less doing it, you've got nine pounds to go. Yeah. And you feel great. Oh, I feel the best I've ever felt. The point I'm trying to make is, if people do it properly and they study properly, yeah. the nutrition, well, that's obviously it. you've got if, a degree if I, in it. If I tell somebody how much I've lost in time scale, I've lost it, which yeah. is probably a year. Yeah. How yeah, you? Have you done that? How do you feel good? It's because I do it properly. Yeah. It's, it's same. Pound, pound a week, isn't it? Basically, exactly, just yeah. over a pound a week. Yeah, so it's not. Pound it's a not week. if you do it properly, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody has their way, I suppose, and everybody's body is a lot different. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, well, I did. I, I made what I like. I, I cut all the bad stuff out. I drank plenty of water. I drink loads of cups of tea. That's all I drink. I, I train, I keep myself healthy. I don't drink, I don't smoke. What's your ambition in boxing? What belt would obviously you like to win? be a WBC world champion, wouldn't you? My number one. Well, You've got to be realistic, yeah. You want to go through the levels? Yeah. yeah. I, I want to do it properly. I don't want to. I don't want. No false routes, I, I want to follow the steps Josh has, central area, yeah. starting off. I don't want to be bigger than I look beyond, but that, that, I want to take traditional routes, central area, English. And you, you can obviously learn from Josh and Gwyn, because wasn't Gwyn a five, five and one professional and he retired with it, five and one, I think? I think he were at first, yeah. Yeah, yeah something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. So Gwyn could really, really, really fire, but yeah. it was just lifestyle. Yeah, with, with. so your dad put plug with yeah, Gwyn, yeah. didn't well, he? That, that's what it would be, dad, if you're not 100%. Yeah, not yeah. so you're going to learn from Gwyn's mistakes, Definitely. obviously, and Josh is what, yeah. he, what he's doing right and wrong. Exactly, you? I've got best role model in Josh, haven't I? So you've got two role models, haven't you, and your dad there as well. And everybody the hero. And you, and you breed it, not, what's the way, not breed? You know, they come in on a conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little whales. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the mini outlaws on a Sunday here, haven't you? Yeah, Sunday we've, morning. We've got it, we've got all oh, blooming, Polly. It's good. Yeah, uh, yeah, obviously, you've got how many nephews I've have got you? Seven. Got? Seven nephews, yeah. and do they all box? They all do, yeah. They all box. The youngest starting now. From the yeah. age of obviously one, is it? Up to one up to nine. One to nine, yeah. and, and everybody except Even the one year old. Even Josh is young, and he, he's, a, he's all a <laughs> walking, but like, you could yeah. see him fade. So there's only yeah. one year old that's not a member here then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't, it won't be long. It won't be the long. The future's too, looking yeah. great. The future's oh, yeah. waiting. Well, M- 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 Mickey's well. athletic, yeah. We're going to have his own squad. We'll have, have his own shows with Wales on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have, there'll be ten, 10 amateur fights and seven of them will be your I would have that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's a, that's a good story, that for channel. Oh, yeah. Because uh, yeah. it's all true, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. My dad started it all and then. Yeah. yeah. Me, Gwyn and Josh, we're going to continue it. There's a good legacy being built, isn't there, yeah. I suppose? It's a good feel factor, Jim. Yeah. Well, that's Jim, brilliant. Yeah. All right, well, well, listen, good luck in your next fight, whatever it is. Thank you very much. Pal. All the best. Thank, Thank you very much. See you. See you soon, Pat. Yeah, you will. Maybe take handbrake off Russell. Well, I enjoyed that. Uh, nice to do a bit in it, and obviously get a couple of nice interviews. It's you may have noticed by vibe of the documentary that I'm just trying something different. So that's what you've got to do. We can't. You've got to think outside the box if you want to get on. You can't be following everybody else who's hanging out at back of people, or hanging out at the back of people because they're hanging about hanging out at back of people. You've got to make your own way, haven't you, and have a bit of fun with it. So, we'll be in that. So that's about it, really. So that's my day done now at ten past seven. That's from half eight. What's that, eleven hours? Looking for a pat on back. So, 
I've got three ice cold bottles of I forgot the make of it. Uh, the the oil that oil Steve from Wales, the oil man involved in oil rigs or something. J.R. Ewing will call you. It's, uh, sent me a, a crate of real ale, is it? Stick him out. I stick him out fridge down off on coldest temperature. And uh, if you work hard all day, you go and enjoy it, don't you? Obviously, in years gone by, it's not. I've not been looking forward to getting in for a beer. I hardly used to drink, but you know, maybe a bit of fisherman's pie, then I can keep it down. But other than that, I'm all right. Obviously, the main talk of conversation on this video is Mickey's Athletic at Maxborough, two Swinton Road, Maxborough, S64. Uh, it's open seven days, I think. We have to check on the website. I got as close a shot with camera as you could see. Uh, woo! Come on then. See, I'm not even growling at them for doing that. Come out there, you feel good about boxing. I know where Eddie Earn feels now over day when he were on about. Sometimes it's refreshing, isn't it? Well, some of the stuff you have to put away in programs are terrible compared to amateur. Nobody's after any money, are they? In amateur or nobody's being a snake. But I'll leave that for another time. I've enjoyed that today, and I hope you've enjoyed the documentary. Documentary, you can't call it a documentary, can you? There'll probably be about 30 minutes of footage, but we'll jazz it up a bit, make it look good, and try a few different things because we're still playing about with a few things regarding the channel at the moment to see which is the best way moving forward. But what a better way to start than with people that you're working with so all right so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing and still the voice of hardcore boxing right. <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing it means a lot to me uh, because we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>